Hey yo, what is up guys? It's your boy Tenyon Scene One. And today we're gonna be covering um the main menu system, which which is you know, which has been what 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 do people call that again? Anticipated? I don't know. But but we're gonna be basically covering the main menu system, um basically how we can load into a new level, how we can exit the game, uh and yeah. Uh no options or anything yet, but I I can just do a sneak peek for that as well while we're at it. And without any further ado, let's get started, shall we? So what we're going to do is we're going to start by covering some basic UI stuff. Uh, I'm not going to go too much into detail. If you want me to do so, please let me know. I might have a poll. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to create, we're going to, we're going to go to UI uh, button. So what that will do is you'll see it actually, it actually spawns in quite a few things. It has canvas, it has event system. So everything that's uh, part of the UI needs to be in the canvas. I'm sure you're aware of that. Uh, and we're just going to basically position this so that it is right in the middle here. And if you go to the game view, you can see there's a button. A nice little button there. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to create a few of these. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and really quickly um, scale them and everything. So we have the button. We can go to the text here. And we can, uh, you can see we have a couple properties. We have the text itself. So we can change this, for example, to start game. And then you have font uh, size. You can increase that so it's bigger, so you can actually see it. And then you can also change the font, which in this, in my case, I don't really have any fonts, but you can download fonts on the internet and you can just place them here. And then we can create a few more uh, real quick here, not not the text, sorry, duplicate the button itself. So we have a few buttons here. Uh, this button, what we're going to do is we're going to call this options, for example, and the last one we're going to call exit game. Yeah, after that, we're just going to save our game, uh, save our scene. So control S or uh, save main menu. Cool. So now that we have done that, um, we have a really cool Little, little menu. Uh, a couple more things you can do. You can actually have a physical menu in the background. Using the canvas, you can put a panel, so UI uh, panel, and you can change its image to whatever you want. The panel is being rendered on top of all the buttons. If I move this here, you'll see now it's rendered first, and now after that, all the buttons are rendered. So you can actually see all the buttons now, and this is just a background. Uh, just a basic little thing. We can maybe have that. So now that we have done that, what we're going to, what we're going to do is we are going to actually jump right into the coding part of this video. So for the code, uh, I have a scripts folder here. We're going to create a new folder and we're going to call this main menu in my case and double click it to open it up. Now in that we are in the Visual Studio software, um, first we need to declare uh, to use a new library, which we're, which we're going to call unity engine dot uh, scene management. Uh, this is used to load into scenes and all that stuff. Uh, we can remove these two up above there. Uh, and what we need to do is we need to create a new, new, new methods. We're going to call pu public void, and we're going to call load level. And it's going to have an int for the level number. You can also have a public void exit game. Yeah, so that's it. So in the load level, we can basically say scene management, or scene manager dot load scene. Yeah, so load scene, and we're just going to put in the level there. So we're just going to try to load whatever level we pass into this method, which I believe it was just application.exit. If not, uh, application.quit, sorry. Now we can go back into Unity. Cool, back in Unity, I'm going to create a new empty game object. I'm going to make sure its position is 000, and I'm going to call this game logic. And what we're going to do is we're going to put drag and drop the main menu script onto the game logic. Now what we need to do is we actually need to make these buttons do something. To do is we just click on the start button. So these are events. These are Unity events. Click on the plus button here. You can basically have it do something. So I can drag and drop the game game logic component here, and then I can click on the no function button, and I can select my main menu script. You can see the main menu script is visible. Select load level. Int. This is the method. The reason why it shows up is because we marked it as public before. Now you can tell it which level to load. And before we go further into this, we actually need to cover how to tell Unity levels. You need to go to File, Build Settings, and you need to add Open Scenes. This adds the main menu. The main menu is a level zero. That means whenever you run the game after building it, this is the first menu that will load. There's more scenes I have. I have a sample scene, so I can drag and drop the scene here. This will be marked as the level one. So if I put the number one here, it will load the sample scene every time. The exit button, we're just going to go add a new object, same thing, game logic, uh, main menu, and exit game. 
this will not work in the editor. This will only work when you actually go to build settings and you actually try to build the game and then run it. Uh, one more thing I'd like to cover is if you want to load levels with name, what you can do is you can have the same exact method and copy and paste this method and I can put a string instead of a uh, level and this will work just fine. This will work exactly the same way. What I can do is I can go to start game and I can say, hey, I want to go to main menu, load level, but instead use the string, the one that takes in the string, and you can put the, your, your level name. So sample scene, that's my level's name. And I can press play and start the game. And you can see above here, sample scene gets loaded in instantly. And that's about it for the main menu. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, feel free to check out my, um, you know, my Fiverr account and my, my Patreon. Uh, I would really appreciate a donation. And if you have any work for me, you can feel free to message me or contact me on Fiverr. Uh, I'm, I'm definitely actively looking for work and um, that's about it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any suggestions, feel free to put them in the comments. And guys, we're really close to the golden number, you know, the the six, nine, and we can have all the other numbers after that. But, you know, just 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 get the get the subscriber count up, please. Like, I, you know, I don't, I don't know, man. I've never begged for subscribers before. How do subscribers work? What is the <laughs> OK, anyways. Yeah. And, and yeah. Hey, hey, if you guys want some uh, ASMR um, to make you to make you really uncomfortable, please feel free to contact me. Uh, I'd be more than happy to do that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, with that all said and done, I uh, hope you guys enjoy. Take care of yourselves. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out.